So we're here with Grizz basketball head coach Travis DeCure and uh, Coach DeCure uh, coming off a big win last night against Montana Tech, a non-conference win. Um, and I suppose the, the key part of this is that you're headed into the Bobcat game now. And, and so how did this game against uh, Montana Tech help you out heading into the conference match? Momentum, confidence, a uh, chance to kind of get some guys back into the groove. Wisner off of injury, uh, hadn't been playing with very much confidence, hadn't been shooting the ball, so it was good to see him. Uh, get some shots up and get some real minutes, uh, a chance to go to five a little bit and see if we can uh, increase our depth in terms of offensively finding a third, fourth score uh, when the three ball's not falling. So I thought it was a productive night for us in that regard. And you mentioned Fabian, um, you know, how, how does a game like that set in a career night for him uh, as a young guy, a freshman? Um, how's that helping him out as far as uh, your depth goes, your depth chart goes? Huge. Uh, you know, we, we, we needed that extra guy inside that we could go to. There's been some games we had some scoring slumps uh, with not a lot of options other than just firing away with threes. And it's important to be able to attack the paint, even when Martin's not on the floor. And I think that right now we're headed in that direction with that. So this past week coming off a, uh, a split road trip down uh, down south at uh, Weaver State and Idaho State. Um, both two tough teams in the conference and, uh, and certainly Montana Tech not as tough a team. But, you know, how do those two teams uh, give you a taste of what the big sky is going to be like and Montana State's going to be like heading into this weekend? Well, Montana Tech's a physical team and they're well coached. Uh, they execute good offense. So for us in terms of just working on our defensive principles, uh, strengthening uh, our tendencies, uh, was was huge in that game. Uh, the Idaho State game coming off a tough game at Weber was in, was important for us for our confidence and a chance to kind of build some momentum. So uh, if we take care of business Saturday, we're looking at three in a row, which is exactly where we want to be. So what do you know about Montana State at this point in the season? Uh, motion team, they, they, they kind of run a 2-3 motion that could lull you to sleep with a lot of options. Uh, and so it's going to be important to understand the rhythm uh, and try to pressure them a little bit and take them out of their rhythm. Uh, they've got good shooters on the floor. Uh, so there's going to be times where there's four or five guys that potentially could shoot the three. Uh, and so it's going to be, they're going to challenge us defensively big time. And so uh, this must be a, a special occasion for you as a former player here at UM. You know, how does it feel to have that rivalry to kind of taste back in your mouth and, and get that feeling one more time uh, playing the old foe? I've always looked forward to the Grizzcat game. Uh, even when being away, you know, you kind of follow the scores or turn the football game on or whatnot when it's on TV. Uh, so for me, it's, it's a big game. You know, it's, it's important for us uh, to get out here in front of a big crowd and perform, and I'm excited about it. And so if you had to pick a key to the game for uh, for your boys this weekend, what do you think that would be? Uh, for us, we want to dominate the paint. Uh, we, we really want to attack them inside as much as possible, uh, but minimize their touches in the paint. Uh, and they keep their percentages down defensively. If they don't shoot the ball well, and we do, obviously we'll be where we want to be. Uh, and, and so we just want to continue to improve defensively. And if we show signs during this game, we'll be, we'll be in a good spot. And what's the message to the guys you're putting out right now in, far, in terms of balance in, the, in your attack? You know, you've got, you've got some presence down low with Martin. You've got guys who can shoot the ball. Yeah. Um, obviously, to win a lot of these Big Sky Conference games, you're going to want to do a, a lot of both, right? Yeah. And, yeah. So, and so what's your approach in getting that done? We stress execution and ball movement. Uh, you know, early in the year, we really didn't really stress uh, shot selection. We kind of just let guys fill out their, their roles. And as you get into conference roles, are more de defined. Uh, so, so now we're starting to talk selection a little bit in terms of working to get better shots. Uh, but the biggest thing for us is just the word execution. If, if we run our actions uh, as well as we were capable of running them, we'll, we'll have great opportunities uh, come up for us no matter who it is with the ball. And that's kind of what we do. Great. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. All right, sir. Thank you. Go Grizz.